Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw Tamataki and Chamataki as a smiling critter from Poppy Playtime. So first we're gonna get started with the left side of the head and we're gonna start with a curved line from left to right for the eye. Let's leave a gap in the middle and we're gonna replicate this over on the left. From the corner now on the inside, we're gonna arch this line up, back down on the right. And then moving over towards the left hand side, let's replicate that. In the middle, we're going to draw in a small oval. And then moving over on the left-hand side, let's replicate that. For the nostrils, we're going to draw in a curved line that arches in towards the center. For the mouth now, in the corner, we're gonna curve this line down. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left-hand side. For the top of the mouth now, we're going to curve this line around and then up on the right. And then we're going to draw a nice big arch line on the bottom, connecting that together. For the tongue now in the center, we're going to curve this line up and then down. And then to the left of this, we're going to curve that down again. Let's draw the cheeks now. So to the right of this, we're going to curve this line around and then in towards the middle. And then coming down on a diagonal, we're going to replicate that over on the left hand side. Let's close off the top of the head now. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna arch this line up and then down on the right. And then for the eyebrows, we're just gonna draw in a curved line on both sides. Now for the top of the hat, we're gonna curve this line around and then down. And then for the back of the hat here, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the cheek. Now let's move over on the right-hand side and we're going to draw on the right head. So for the eye, for the bottom here, we're gonna curve this line around. And then leaving a small gap, we're gonna replicate that. Let's draw in a nice big arch line, connecting that together. And then we'll move over on the left-hand side and replicate that. On the inside, we're gonna replicate that again. So we're gonna curve this line across. And then we're gonna close that off with a nice big arch line from left to right. And now in the center, we're just going to draw in an oval. Now let's draw in the mouth. So on both sides, we're going to draw in a curved line arching down, and we're gonna make the one on the top left-hand side bigger. From the top here, let's curve this line around and then in towards the middle. And then from the center, we're gonna curve that up and over on the right. Let's move down now for the tongue. We're gonna to curve this up and then in. To the right of that, we're gonna arch this line around and then up. And then from that corner, we're just gonna curve this line around and then down for the bottom of the tongue. And now closing off the bottom of the mouth, we're just gonna curve this line in towards the side and then back up and over on the right. For the cheek on the right hand side, let's curve this line around and then in. And then moving up on a diagonal, we're gonna replicate that over on the left. Now for the top of the head, we're gonna arch this line up and then in. To the left of this, we're gonna curve this line up. On the top, we're gonna to continue to extend this line over and out. And then from that corner, we're just gonna curve this line down towards the cheek. Now from here for the hat, we're gonna arch this line around and then in. And then on the top, we're just gonna curve this line around and then down. For the eyebrows now, we're gonna curve this line up and then down and then do the same thing over on the right. And now let's draw in the body. So for the neck on the inside, we're gonna curve this line in towards the middle and then we'll do the same thing over on the left. Moving further down, we're gonna curve this line in, ending it so it's on a diagonal. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. Now from here, we're gonna connect this with a curved line from left to right. Let's curve the arms down now. So we're gonna arch this line down. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. And now for the top of the foot, we're just gonna arch this line in on both sides, giving a small gap in the middle. On the right hand side, we're gonna arch this line down. 
On the left hand side, we're going to curve this down, stopping halfway. We're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. And then from the inside, we're going to curve this line back down, ending that so it's at the same height. Now let's move up and we're going to curve this line all the way around and then in, connecting that on the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side, arching this line around and then in. On the right hand side, we're going to curve this line out and then down. In the middle, we're going to close this off with a curved line from left to right. On the top, let's arch this line out on both sides. And then on the inside, we're just going to curve this line down towards the bottom. In the middle, we're going to draw in a diamond now. So we're going to draw a diagonal line that meets at a point in the center. And then from the middle, we're going to bring that down and in towards the center again. On the top now, let's curve this line across. Let's move in towards the middle and replicate that. And then move down again one more time. For the side of the body now, we're going to curve this line down. And we'll do the same thing on the left. And now in the middle, we're just going to draw in a small arch line. As we move down now, we're going to draw in a diagonal line that comes up on both sides. And then we're going to bring that diagonal line out again on both sides. For the back here, we're going to curve this line around and then in. For the right now, we're going to curve this line around, up. Moving further up, we're going to curve this line in towards the tongue. And then we're going to again continue to curve this line around and then in towards the side of the leg. And that is it. That's how you draw Tamataki and Chamataki from Garden of Banban as a smiling critter. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.